Hey YouTube, it's Ryan again on Ryan's Kind of Stuff. For the uh, past week and a half or so, I've been looking for a way desperately to, to install cracked apps on an iTouch or an iPhone without the use of SSH or Wi-Fi because for some reason my Wi-Fi does not, is not compatible with my iTouch or iPhone and I can't connect to it so SSH is out of the option for me. And ever since I upgraded to 3.0 on both of them, I couldn't do anything. And I've been on countless websites, countless hours, just looking for a way to do this. And they all say, you need SSSH, you need Wi-Fi, you need this, you need that. You need to change permissions on files, and it's just a pain in the ass. And finally, just an hour ago, I found a way to how to do this, and it works perfectly. I tried it. I got my favorite apps on this thing now. It's fantastic. And I just figured, you know, in the heated situation, I'm going to make a tutorial how to do it because it seems like it's really useful. And even other, I saw other YouTube videos too on how to do this, and either these don't work or it's just a scam, even. The, you have to use SSH either way. Or because there's another thing called, like, I think it's iPhone Suite or something like that, which I've tried. And it won't connect to my iPod for some reason. It won't connect to it. And plus, you have to change permissions and you have to delete files and things like that, which is really uh, dangerous because I tried that once and it really messed up my eye touch. I had to, it went, got to like this uh, this Apple screen of death or whatever you want to call it. And I just could not get out of it and that had to uh, reinstall all the firmware and downgrade and upgrade. It was just a big fiasco. And finally, I got a fail safe way to do this. Very safe. There's no way it can go wrong. And if it does, it just fixes it fixable by clickable buttons, no problem. So um, all you need for this is one program. It's called Cider, and it's a PC version of Cydia where you can add sources and download packages, things like that onto your computer, then later transfer them onto Cydia on your iTouch or iPhone and install them that way without the use of Wi-Fi or any of that stuff. And um, the only catch, if you want to call it a catch, is you need to have an iPhone or, or iTouch with 3.0 firmware installed, which is no biggie. It's really easy to do, and it's highly recommended. It's terrific firmware. It does a lot of cool things, and, um, and I have another video posted on how to do that the simplest way possible, and it's no problem whatsoever. I have all the links and uh, stuff you need to download on the description, and it takes probably about half an hour. And um, so yeah, um, I uh, have a link to an Appulus website in the description, which is a uh, highly recommended um, site to download cracked apps. There's a 15 or 30,000 of there on there, everything of all the greatest apps and the most popular ones and everything. And I will do this from downloading the app from Apulus all the way to installing it on the iTouch and running it to prove it works. And it's simple and easy. So uh, enjoy. All right, so what you want to do is um, go to the uh, Mediafire link I have in my description for the uh, Cider program. and. Uh, Download it, uh, save it to wherever you want, and um, what I did is that uh, I, um, since it's only an .exe file in it, I just took it and I um, copied it to wherever I want to put it, which is my desktop here. So I'm going to uh, paste down the desktop, and um, you just extract right here, and then you want to open it. And um, you want to copy the uh, source I have in my description into this box here on the first little uh, tab that's picture of the earth. And um, then you click add and then you want to refresh. Okay, and uh, after that you're going to want to go to the second bar here, with a little X on it, and check the uh, app sync for OS 3.0, version 1.1. One, uh, 1 .1 and download that. When it's done, you go down one more tab to the CD, and you click, you highlight the app sync 3D, uh, 3, the 30.11, and add to CD at cache, and add to auto install folder. The thing is, sometimes this, um, when you click this, it won't do anything. That's a common glitch. You just close out of it, open it back up again, and it'll work perfectly fine. And after that, you're going to um, hit the uh, Copy Sources to Cydia button. You know, like a, a little flick like that, nothing more. And um, from there you go on your iTouch, and I'll show you what to do.
Okay, now here comes the uh, tricky part, uh, filming wise. So, um, you'll want to go to Cydia and let that open or load, do whatever, whatever you can just to get it open because sometimes it'll close down or something. For me, it closed down because you can't find the Wi Fi. And, um, you're going to go to uh, manage, you see like the uh, packages and sources, and you're going to hit packages right here. Then you should see App Sync for OS 3.0, and you're going to want to click that just to uh, make sure that it installed correctly. So it should look like this, and then you're going to want to hit Modify just to make sure it says Clear and uh, Remove, not Reinstall or anything else than that. And if it does say Reinstall, just reinstall it. And it'll be fine. Now to um, uh, download applications from Apulus and how to put them on iTunes, then you I touch your iPhone. Okay, now you're going to want to go to the ever popular Apulus website, which is also in my link. And um, I here I have the settings for uh, newest apps and updates. And games and so show 60 per 60 apps per page and I'm going to go with the um, oh, I'm on page 2 and I'm gonna go with the uh, eye sniper here it is so you click any one and it'll load and it'll give you um, screenshots the information even the price this one's, uh, nine, this one's at 99 cents on the bottom they give you the versions and uh, where to download them. So just get the newest version, unless you heard otherwise. And um, I have good, I have good uh, luck with App Scene. And you click the download link. And then you enter the um, four uh, digit number code in the side there in the picture. Set of four and a two. Is it four or a U? Uh, I think it might be a U. And then submit. And you save file. And uh, wait for it to finish downloading. And when it's done, what you're going to want to do is um, go to wherever you uh, saved it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to. Um, Save it somewhere else, but I'm taking and move it to music, and uh, just paste it here. So there's Eye Sniper. And I close all this out, and you're going to want to open up um, iTunes. Okay, once it's open, you um, take it and you uh, drag and drop it right into the applications. I already did that, and um, if you look for it. Type in here, I sniper. It's right there. And depending on how your settings are for transferring things to your iPod, mine's uh, mine syncs things. So I have to um, click my iPod and go to applications, find uh, I sniper. There it is, and sync. And it'll sync the application, install it. See, I usually when it's a, uh, a cracked app and you don't have the um, ability to play cracked applications on your on your iTouch, it'll stop you right here towards the end, and it'll say cannot install to iPod due to a proper format or something. But just give it a second because it's um, kind of a big uh, file, and. Um, it's done. And now I'll show you what it looks like on the iPod. Alright, so uh, there it is in the far right, and if I click it, it opens right up and works perfectly fine. So thanks for watching. Subscribe and uh, keep watching Ryan's kind of stuff. See ya.